Hi again from Fairy Tales and Fables. Today I'm going to try something a little bit different. Um, I'm going to make or attempt to make an emu. I have never done one before so it's going to be interesting. Um, I'm going to run through the armature very quickly for you to see. It is here but I will show you how I made it very very quickly. Um, and hopefully that will be the right size and shape for my emu. He will have to stand on something because I don't think he's going to be able to stand up on his own. But we'll see. We'll have a look when we've, we've got him finished. So after you've seen me putting the armature together very quickly, I am then going to wrap him. Okay, so I have bought some wool roughly the colour that I think emu's legs are and they do have little dark marks in them so I've got a wall that's actually got little dark marks in it so we'll see what happens when we've done it see what it looks like it's complete learning curve for all of us possibly be the armature for Now as you can see, I've left a little bump in his foot, just in his toe there, um, because when you look at Emu's feet, they are quite lumpy bumpy, so we've got a little bump left in there.
so there we are. Toes, legs, and ready to go off and have the glue painted on them. Okay, so now we're going to have a go at wrapping the body. This should be interesting. Okay, so I've got his neck done and I'm sh trying to shape his head now. I'm trying to work out where the eyes will go. He's going to have a. I've got some air dry clay, but it's it's a very strange sort of clay. It's very um, spongy and rubbery, and I'm going to use that to make his beak. So that will come up part way over his nose and then it's quite a big beak so I'm just working out where to put his eyes and then I'm going to do some big eyebrows because they've got some big old eyebrows you can use. Now what I've done here, what I've decided is I've added a little bit of extra wire and how I've done that is where the nose, the wire from the inside of the head is, where, we, where I twisted it round it made a loop so I've put another piece of wire through it and twisted it round and just brought it out far enough to hold on to the beak because the beak, as I said, I'm going to make it out of silk clay. I've got some silk clay and it's quite spongy and it, it's really easy to work with. So I'm going to make the uh, beak out of that. It's not quite the right colour. It's brown and their beaks are a very sort of grey, blacky colour. But I'm thinking I can actually paint that when it's gone off and uh, get it to the right colours that I want. So we have got his little face done, we've got his eyes in, we've got his beak finished apart from colouring it and I'm going to bring a little bit of um, felting wool down over his beak as well just to make it look a little bit more realistic and so we're now ready to start putting his fur on and because I've decided that he's going to be a baby he's going to have lots of cream and brown stripes. And so I have here some cream and brown wool that I have bought, which I'm going to open because it's suction packed. And it is marvellous wool if you use your dog brushes, which will be another video for another day, um, to blend the wool. Or in this case, um, I'm going to use it in its actual colours in its stripes because I think you'll agree that will look really really good for a baby emu's feathers.
doing some tie dyeing. Dyeing the other half's hat that faded. gloves with holes in. Okay, I was ready for a little trim up. Okay, so now to make the base. Bit of green felt, using my brush, stab it in. Using the brush makes it easier to felt onto felted fabric. Okay, so I found a nice little piece of wood that I'm going to use for the base. I've drilled a hole into it at a slight angle so that the wire that goes up through the bird's foot will bend against itself, as it were. Um, I have put a piece of wire, stiff wire, um, put a piece of stiff wire going up into his leg. So that will hold him and if I just pop him in the hole there like that you can see how that makes him stand up. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of glue into that hole just to hold that firmly and I'm going to stick the grass in place onto the wood and then we're going to put um, the emu's foot into the hole so that it's all held together. in place. Going to put the emu in place. Assuming we can find the hole. So there we have him, one baby emu on his grass. <laughs> 